her home. I went back to the radio station again. I said, how you doing, Mr. Butterball? My name is Les Brown. I know your name. Didn't I just see you here yesterday? I said, yes, sir. I said, y'all have any jobs here? Didn't I tell you yesterday we didn't have any jobs? Yes, sir, but I thought maybe somebody got fired or resigned. I didn't know, sir. I went the next day. How you doing, Mr. Butterball? He said, yes. And I just didn't take it personal. How you doing? So y'all have any jobs here? Didn't I just tell you yesterday and the day before we didn't have any work? Well, I thought maybe somebody died, so I didn't know. I didn't know. I went the next day, showed up like nothing was wrong, like I saw him for the first time. How you doing, Mr. Butterball? Y'all having there? He said, boy, make yourself useful. Go get me some food. I said, yes, sir. See, many times when you want more, you've got to be willing to pay your dues. So I became their errand boy. I went to get their lunch and their, their dinner and all kind of food for them. After a while, I would take the food to them in the control room and I would not leave until they would ask me to. And I'd watch them working the controls and I'd memorize their hand movements. And pretty soon they would trust me with their cars to go pick up entertainers that came into town. Entertainers like Sam Cooke, um, Dinah Ross and the Supremes, the Four Tops and the Temptations. I would drive them all over Miami Beach in the disc jockey's cars. I didn't have any driver's license, but I'd drive it like I had some. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, one day I was at the radio station and a guy by the name of Rock was drinking while he was on the air. It was a Saturday afternoon. I was the only one there. None of the other jocks were available. And I was looking at him through the control room window <laughs> saying, Drink, Rock, drink. <laughs> drink, Rock. I'd have gone to get him some more if he'd asked me to. Drink, Rock. Pretty soon the phone rang. It was the general manager. I said, hello. He said, Les, this is Mr. Klein. I said, I know. He said, Rock can't finish his program. I said, I know. He said, would you call one of the other DJs to come in? I said, yes, sir. I hung the phone up. I said, now he must be thinking I'm crazy. I called my mom and my girlfriend, Cassandra. I said, y'all come out on the front porch and turn up the radio. I'm about to come on the air. I waited for about 20 minutes and I called him back. I said, Mr. Klein, I can't find nobody. He said, young boy, do you know how to segue the records? I said, yes, sir. He said, go in there and don't say nothing here. I said, yes, sir. I couldn't wait to get behind those controls. I put the headphones on. I said, look out, this is me, LB, Triple P. Les Brown, your platter playing Papa. There were none before me and there will be none after me. Therefore, that makes me the one and only. Young and single and love to mingle, certified, bona fide, and dubably qualified to bring you satisfaction, whole lot of action. Look out, baby, I'm your love man. I was hungry.